Hello everyone and welcome back to the finals of the American Cup. Uh, uh, this is the first game of the Rapids. The two classical games ended in a draw. Uh, it's Wesley So with White versus Hikaru Nakamura. Uh, now let's check out the game and then we're going to discuss what happened in the rest of the match. So Wesley has the white pieces and he opens with e4. Uh, pawn to c5 by Hikaru, knight f3, knight to c6 and now bishop to b5. The Nizhmedino Rosolimo attack with pawn to e5. Uh, of course, you can't take that. You could, but nothing really good happens because queen e7 and then uh, you just have to give back the pawn. So here, castles by Wesley and bishop to d6. For the moment, uh, blocking your pawn by the, by the bishop, but this is a well-known line. So, of course, um, uh, Hikaru knows what he's doing. So c3, pawn to a6, bishop a4, we have b5, and now bishop to b3, even pawn to c4. Bishop to c2 and now knight to f6. We have pawn to d4 striking in the center. C captures on d3. Al passant, uh, not bishop captures, but queen captures. And now bishop to e7. Uh, there are uh, quite a few games where bishop to c7 was played, but bishop to e7 is a new move. So already now, as of move 10, we have a completely new game. Uh, bishop to g5. Wesley continues development. d6 now. Uh, we have rook to d1 and now knight to h5. Offering a trade of bishop. So bishop captures, we have king captures on e7 uh, to, to help with the defense of the d6 pawn. Later on you're going to play some like rook to e8 and king to f8 if you want to artificially castle. Uh, and pawn to a4. We say this in pretty much every video. Once you see a6 and b5 you play a4. That's just how chess works. Rook to b8 and now a captures. A captures and knight to a3. And this knight to a3 is a bit rushed by Wesley. Uh, g3 first stopping knight to f4 and then uh, you continue with um, a knight to a3 going after the b5 pawn uh, would have uh, a been a bit better giving Hikaru less options but okay Wesley goes knight a3 this is rapid chess knight to f4 now attacks the queen queen e3 and queen to b6 now Hikaru offers a queen trade and already it's a much different game than you would have if this knight was not uh, allowed on f4 so knight to d4 now not really uh, a sacrifice because if pawn captures then the knight on f4 is undefended so knight captures on d4 c captures and just rook to d8 now Hikaru pre uh, preparing to castle a uh, uh, to artificially castle with king f8, bishop to b3, Wesley shifts the bishop to this long diagonal, and now bishop to e6. We have knight to c2, uh, adding another defender here, uh, and now king to f8. We have rook to d2, preparing to double up on the d-file if needed, rook d to c8, uh, shifting the rooks to the c-file, and now pawn to g3, chases away the knight. First bishop captures on b3, queen captures and knight to e6. Again, putting pressure on d4. So rook a to d1 and now pawn to b4. Grabbing more space on the king side. We have king to g2, pawn to g6 and now pawn to h4 and pawn to h5. So locking up the king side. And now Wesley breaks the tension with d captures on e5. We have d captures and rook to d7. Usually you don't want to just capture for capture's sake, uh, but here if it gets you the, the seventh rank and the d7 file for your rook, it's definitely worth it. So here Hikaru plays rook to c7, uh, but Wesley throws in an immediate queen to f3. Now checkmate is being threatened, where Hikaru trades, captures, captures, and now the only way to stop checkmate is knight to d8, um, to, to defend the f7 square. Knight to e3, now Wesley brings the knight into the game as well. Queen to c6, and now as the rook is attacked, just rook to d5. We have queen to e6, queen to d1 now, putting pressure on the knight on d8, and queen to f6 defending. We have rook back to d7, and now king to g7. Uh, we have rook to d6 attacking the queen, queen to e7, and now rook back to d7. Here, Wesley uh, misses queen to d5. Queen to d5 just uh, stops uh, any and all counterplay from black. You, you really don't have... Um, uh, any move here. The, the rook can't really move the back rank because then just a rook captures on uh, on d8 can be played. Even if you try to give up a rook to gobble up white's rook, Hikaru uh, has the, uh, Wesley has the nice solution to rook captures on g6 followed by queen captures on b5. So th there's really uh, n not a good option here. And uh, later on you can play rook to d7, kick away the queen, put the knight on c4, gobble up the e5 pawn, and so on. But okay, uh, like I said, it's rapid. Rook to d7 was played. Queen to f6, 
and now knight to d5. This is the plan that Wesley goes for. Queen e6, knight to c7, and now queen to c6. Uh, here, Wesley offers a queen trade, queen to d5. Uh, basically, not offers, he, he forces it because of queen captures on f7. So, queen captures, we have uh, queen captures on d5, e captures on d5. This is how Wesley creates a passed pawn. And now, knight to b7. We have knight to e6 with check. King to g8 and now knight to g5, putting pressure on the f7 pawn and knight to d8. And okay, Hikaru is defending the f7 pawn, uh, but it's a very, very passive position. He has to worry about the, the active rook, the active knight, the pass d pawn, the soon to be very active white king. So he's not just going to be able to remain there and do nothing. So king f3. Uh, we have b3 by Hikaru and now king to e4. And here Hikaru decides that it's definitely time to, to part with the f7 pawn and he goes knight to b7. Uh, but Wesley first uh, captures the e5 pawn, as he should, and now the king can also come to f6. We have knight to c5 attacking the rook, and here Wesley should just play rook captures on f7, but he doesn't. He plays rook to c7, he attacks the knight, now knight to d3 with check, king to f6, and now knight captures on b2. Hikaru now creates a passed pawn, and interestingly, there's only one move that wins the game for Wesley here, and, uh, well, uh, if we take into consideration what Wesley Wesley played, it's not an easy one to find. So feel free to pause the video and try to win this game for Wesley while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting the correct idea. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is not knight captures on f7. This is what Wesley played, uh, the move that wins the game, or rook captures on f7 for that matter. Uh, the move that uh, should have been played is pawn to d6. And the reason is very simple, uh, because after the knight moves, clearing the path for the past b pawn, you just push d7, and there's no defense against rook to c8. The king covers g7, and the knight covers the h7 uh, square. But that's the price of rapid chess. You don't have time to, uh, to spot uh, little things like that. And if pawn to b2, like I said, this will just be checkmate. Captures, captures, and that's checkmate. Uh, but instead, Wesley played knight captures on f7, which, okay, still gives white a lot of pressure, but it's just not winning by force. Knight to c4 by Hikaru, now even offering a knight, but if you capture that, then b2 just wins. Knight to h6 with check, king to f8, and now rook to f7 check. The king hunt begins. King to e8, we have rook e7 check, king to d8, knight to f7 check. Uh, Hikaru didn't even want to go back, uh, he goes to the queen side now, he wants more than a draw. King to c8, now pawn to d6, advancing the pass pawn, d7 is coming, and now, in fact, uh, if you play b2, then rook to c7 is mate in one, so you have to be very careful here. So Hikaru has to move the rook, rook to b6, the only move that does does not lose the game. He has to clear the b8 square for the king. Rook to e8 with check, king to b7, and now king to e7. You can't move the pawn while the king is on the same file as the rook. Pawn to b2, and now d7, and now we uh, get an, uh, two more queens on the board. The b1 queen, queen, and d8 queen. And now queen to b4 check. Hikar uh, is the first one to start checking, and there's only one way to uh, handle this, and that is knight to d6 with a counter check. And now... Uh, you, you have to trade. If you don't trade, you're just lost. If you go to a6, uh, queen to a8 is mate in one. If you go to c6, it's not much better. Queen to a8 with checking to c5. Rook to c8 with check, you can go to d4. But now queen to e4 check, king c3. And the rook captures on c4 check will win the black queen. Captures, captures. Uh, so instead, after knight to d6 check, you have to trade. Queen captures on d6, again with check. Queen captures, we have knight captures on d6, and now rook to g8. Now, Wesley uh, is down a, down a piece, but he is up a pawn, and this is not, um, uh, well, not, not easy. This is, in fact, very, very hard to, to win, uh, even in classical, but, um, uh, you know, in rapid, when, when you play on increment, when you have a few seconds on the clock, uh, it's a very much a different story. But, okay, knight to f5 check, king to e8, and king to c7 now. We have rook to f8. Uh, putting pressure uh, on that knight there, knight to h6, and just rook to f4. We have rook to e6 with check, 
king to f8 and now king to d6. Uh, we have king to g7 and now knight to f5 with check king f7. Uh, king to d5 and now rook to f3. White can only wait and see what uh, black comes up with. Uh, rook to a6 and now rook to b3. We have king to e4, rook to c3, knight to d6, check, and king to g7. We have king to d4, rook to b3, knight to f5 with check. King to h7 and now king to e5. So trying to box in the white king, uh, but that's easier said than done. Rook b8, we have knight to e7. King to g7 and now rook to a7, threatening a nasty discovery here to win the white rook. So rook b5 check, king to e6, rook to b6 check, king to f5, uh, rook b5 check, king to g4, and rook to b4 check. Of course, Wesley will uh, uh, check the black king uh, uh, as much as he can uh, to invoke the 50 move rule. So king to h6, we have rook to a6. King to g5, now knight to d5. Attacks the rook, rook to d4. We have knight to c3, king to h6, and king to g2. Pawn to g4 now, a pawn move by Wesley, nonetheless. Uh, we have knight to e2, rook to b4, and now king to f3. We have g captures on h5, g captures, and king captures on h5. We have knight to f4 with check, king to g5, and now rook to a5 with check. We have king to h6, and now comes king to g4. So now uh, it's uh, two pawns and a rook against only a rook and a knight. So can the two pawns uh, be enough for uh, uh, to counter the black knight? We have king to g7, king to f5, rook to b7, and now knight to e6 with check. King h6, we have king to f6, uh, and now pawn to h5. Now you have to be very careful not to get checkmated. So rook to a8 going for rook to h8. But it doesn't really matter. You always have rook to h7. Pawn to f4 by Wesley. Uh, we have rook to h8 with check. You could capture the pawn. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, rook to h7. Now the rook goes back. Rook to a8. And rook to b7. Now knight captures on f4. We have rook to b6 with check. Knight to e6. Uh, and now king to h7. We have rook to a7 with check. King to h6 and now rook to d7. And here, uh, it's still a draw, but Wesley has to play uh, play precise moves. He has to play something like rook to b1 or rook to b8 or basically move the rook anywhere. Just not what he played. He played rook captures on e6, thinking that it's a force to draw, uh, but it's not. Hikaru actually wins this. King captures on e6. King to g6, now it seems that you're getting your pawn uh, all the way to h8 and you will promote it to a queen. But now rook to d1, pawn to h6 and rook to g1 with check. And now the problem is if you go to h5 uh, and you can't go um, uh, left, you have to go right. If king to h5, just king to f5, threatening checkmate. And once you move the king, king g6 gobbles up the pawn. So you have to go up the board, king to h7 was played, but now king to f7, and he was in this position. On move 103, that Wesley so resigned the game, as there is nothing more to be done here. Once uh, uh, a king to f7 lands, you have to play king h8, it's your only move. And now look at this, rook to a1. Now it doesn't matter what you play, if you push the pawn, then rook to a8 is checkmate, so of course you're going to play king to h7. But now either rook to h1 or rook to a6. Rook to a6 is much nicer, I think, uh, leaving white with only uh, one move, uh, king to h8, and now rook captures on h6 would be checkmate. So it's a forced checkmate regardless of what Wesley does. And that's why after uh, 103 moves, he resigns the game. So two classical games end in a draw. Then, uh, then Hikaru takes the win in the first rapid game, but Wesley retaliates in the second rapid game. Uh, and then they went into blitz tie breaks. And once they went into blitz tie breaks, uh, Hikaru just completely obliterated Wesley. Uh, it, it wasn't, uh, I mean, it wasn't even a contest. Um, Wesley just blundered a pawn in the first game and then he blundered uh, the position and then he just blundered another pawn. So and Hikaru took advantage of all of those um, uh, tiny blunders and uh, the second game, not, not much different. Uh, so yeah, uh, Hikaru wins uh, the finals of the American Cup. A very tough matchup by Wesley, but uh, as as you've seen, the uh, as as uh, time format uh, went lower and lower, Hikaru's uh, uh, strength just went uh, you know uh, uh, up, and uh, it, it, when it came to, to the blitz section, he was just unstoppable. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tough luck for Wesley as he was winning uh, in uh, in a couple of instances in the game, uh, but you know you only win uh, if you actually win. 
So, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank a very nice video yesterday. Ryan Cavanaugh, Henry Spragans, Richard Karp, and uh, Laurent Andre Giannassini for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so, thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.